Hello everyone, this is the tutorial that some of you have been waiting for and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can apply uh, MetaHuman Rig to any arbitrary face and as you can see here I have this model, I have made this model two years ago and this is the model that it is actually in my art station page and the link is below and I applied MetaHuman uh, Rig Control Rig to this model and I'm going to show you how to do it now this is the starting point and here I have the head geometry from MetaHuman. I put the head geometry in this layer and I have joints in this layer and I have um, my target geometry in this layer. And I have made some changes to my geometry. I actually opened the lip a bit and I need the head geometry to have opened mouth or lips and okay the lighting is not working for some reason anyway as you can see um, here I have opened the lip the lip and actually I have some animation on these controllers on this controller I have animation as you can see and on this controller too to open the corner of the mouth and I have animation on frame 30 I have uh, I have this head ready um, now the first thing I'm going to do is to make the joint a little bit clear so I'm going to edit actually select and select all by type joints and I am going to set radius to zero so I can see the joint a little bit better so as you know these joints have inputs have expression and you can't uh, move them. There are a couple ways that you can offset the joints, but the easier one, the easier, uh, the easiest way is that to select all the joints by selecting on the root and select hierarchy and go to animation layers and add the joints to an animation layer. As you can see, the color has changed and it means you can now you can add offset to joints. Now, what I did for the geometry, let me hide the joints and show the geometry. I actually placed the geometry a way that uh, the eyelids are match with the source. I just transform it, ro rotate and not rotate, scale and transform it. So the upper eyelids are perfectly match with the uh, source. And I also need the geometry to be freeze transformed by uh, modify and freeze transformation the geometry if you have uh, some transform some uh, transformation some scale you should freeze it modify freeze transformation and now let's uh, offset the joints to match our geometry so i'm going to unhide the joints and the 
the important part is eyes and lips you can leave the other parts the other parts are not important and they can follow the geometry perfect perfectly but for the eyes and lips you need to adjust them which already we have adjust eyes by actually placing the geometry but for lips we are going to adjust it so there are dozens of dozens of joints and you actually don't need to mo modify dozens of joints you just need to modify a couple of them and by selecting these joints that looks like stars actually i'm selecting the root of the joints i'm going to animation layer selecting the animation layer and what i want is to cover the lips perfectly and i am let's actually object for for scale you need to be an object mode and i'm going to press s key to have a key on the animation line and i'm going to select these joints and modify them to match the lip and key and this is the most important part the corner of the mouth you need to have them exactly at the corner of the mouth of your target so to see to to see it more clearly i'm going to hide the joints and I am starting manipulating it. It is very important to have it perfect. now let's check if i'm adding a frame and i'm checking if it's actually in the right place almost there just I need to show the joints and I need to have this joint a little higher yeah it's good now the other one other side I'm going to select these three roots for the lip and I 
I'm changing from lighting to unlighting so the shadow doesn't is in the problem and adding a key and checking the it needs to be Yeah, it's perfect. Just some modification. Mm. Yeah, looks good. So ready let's take a look at the joints you can see the lip the lip shape has changed now what I'm going to do is uh, make a duplicate of this head because this head if you take a look at skin cluster if I remove the skin cluster, you can see the head is actually Z up. We need a head that is Y up. So I'm going to make a duplicate and unparent it and call it source. And I'm going to select the head, the source, and the former and blend shape. And in the blend shape tab, I'm setting the blend shape to 1. And I'm going to hide the head. So I'm adding the source to head layer. And now I'm going to add a deformer called proximity, proximity, proximity wrap. This is a new deformer from Maya 2020 and it is very cool. So I'm bringing the deformer attributes max driver to one, fall off 200, smooth influence to 20 and soft normalization. And I'm going to click on edit notes I'm going to select the source and add it as driver and select the target which is hidden and add it as geometry and the process takes some time like a few minutes and just wait for it it isn't going to crash you need to wait for something like five minutes. I'm going to pause the video. Now it is ready. And let's test it. As you can see, I can close the lips by going to frame one and Let's test this and open the mouth and eyes, close eyes and funnel. This one, this one, 
as you can see very smooth um, transition maybe checking smile and this one maybe working the working the the way that we expected i don't know what to check to make sure that and as I, as i said actually as you can see the the ears not on exactly match to the target ear but it doesn't matter it works the only the only important portion is lips and eyes and that's it and also you can check eyebrows yeah they're working fine 